Oh, I wish I'd looked after me teeth and spotted the dangers beneath all the toffees I chewed and the sweet sticky food. Oh, I wish I'd looked after me teeth. I wish I'd been that much more willing when I had more tooth there than filling to give up gobstoppers from respect to me choppers and to buy something else with me shilling. When I think of the lollies I licked and the licorice all sorts I picked, the sherbet dabs big and little, all that hard peanut brittle, oh, my conscience gets horribly pricked. My mother, she told me no end. If you've got a tooth, you've got a friend. But I was young then and careless. Me toothbrush was airless. I never had much time to spend. You know, I showed him the toothpaste all right. I flashed it about late at night. But up and down brushing and poking and fussing, well, it didn't seem worth the time. I could bite. If I'd known I was paving the way to cavities, caps and decay, to the murder of fillings, injections and drillings. Oh, I'd have thrown all me sherbet away. So I lie in the old dentist chair and I gaze up his nose in despair and his drill it do whine in these molars of mine. To amalgam, he'll say, for in there. And how I laughed at my mother's false teeth as they foamed in the waters beneath. But now comes the reckoning. It's me they are beckoning. Oh, I wish I'd looked after me teeth. I always found it hard to get our children up in the morning and off to school with all the vast amount of stuff they were supposed to take with them. I used to finish up standing at the foot of the stairs shouting the same things every morning. And after a while, I could see the funny side of this. And I just kept a list for a few weeks of the things I actually said. Uh, this poem is based on that list. It's 25 past seven, boys. I've boiled you both an egg. Up you get then. Rise and shine. Let's have you. Shake a leg. It's 25 past seven. Your breakfast's ready. Don't all flock. I used to be important, now I'm just a speaking clock. It's five to eight. It's five to eight. You've cut it very fine. I see you've combed your hair. It's stuck up like a porcupine. Have you washed those hands that look suspiciously like dirt? Pass the milk. Look out. Too late. It's gone all down his shirt. Now let go of the cereal. You'll have it on the floor. No, it doesn't really matter if he had the toy before. Here's your football boot. It's where you left it Friday night. It's got no studs or laces, but the rest of it's all right. Have you fed the rabbit? And your goldfish does look queer. You gave him too much breakfast. Still, I suppose the tank will clear. Hurry up then, boys, because it's nearly time to leave. Now, do you want a handkerchief? Or can you manage with your sleeve? Does anybody want to go who's not already been? Well, brush your face and wash your teeth. It's nearly 8.15. Well, why can't you lace your trainer? Try not to lose control. You've lost the pointed bit that's supposed to push it through the hole. Now put your shoes on properly and don't stand on the backs. He doesn't want a rugby tackle. Calm down and relax. He's looking for his other shoe his own work and his coat and he'll find him quicker still without you clinging to his throat. Oh, you're finishing your own work. I don't believe it's true. You should have done that yesterday. Look, it's 20 minutes too. Who was in the basket? Well, how am I supposed to know? Moses, John the Baptist or the bull rush? I don't know. Come on, here's the bus. It's 10 to 9 right on the dot. Off you go. Bye bye. See you tonight. Don't pick your spot. And don't keep aggravating him. I saw you throw that punch. Bye bye. My day you go. And by the way, you've left your lunch. <laughs>